a cat had a tail, a very long tail, nine meters long. It was trod on by a crocodile. A Welcome cat. to the big birthday video. I'm here with the directors of Clock Tower Theatre Company, Steve and Minty, and we're just going to have a little chat about the last year and talk about milestones and things like that. So, boys, first of all, can I just ask you why you started the company? Well, I think it's fairly well documented that we started the company uh, based on some pub conversations that kind of escalated quite quickly into plans and so forth. But, you know, at the heart of it was a mutual love for theatre and uh, collaborating, and that's kind of what got us on the roll. So collaboration um, mm -hmm. leads us on to your first show, La Ronde, back in November. So let's let's talk about that. Uh, so La Ronde was put to me by Minty, who had studied it uh, during his time at university. And uh, when I read it, I just thought, this is exactly what I want to do. It's interesting. It's, it's a good story. Not very many people have heard of it as well, which was something that we wanted to sort of get into looking at things that people hadn't done before or wasn't particularly well known. And yeah, I loved the sort of um, the way that all the characters interweaved with each other. And it was really, um, really interesting thing to, to do. Um, quite challenging for the first show because it was, you know, quite intense and very intimate. It required the actors to, you know, really get to grips with each other, literally. Um, and um, but they were all fantastic and um, it was a good collaboration. I know you've done some arts award training yourselves, is that right? Yeah, yes, do you want to talk about have. that? Okay, <clears throat> sure. The arts awards is very, um, it's a lot more prevalent in England than it is in Wales. Um, Steve was very involved with it when he was, before he came to uni in Salisbury. That's it, the Salisbury Playhouse. Okay. There you go. So okay. when I was in Salisbury, I did the Arts Gold Award um, as a participant, and I also became a bronze and silver um, advisor. Um, the Arts Award, for those who don't know, is a course uh, that's run by Trinity College London, and it's fantastic. You can get involved with all art forms, um, and basically at the end you get a national qualification, um, which uh, as they go up bronze, silver, gold, they're equivalent to GCSEs, tariff points for UCAS, things like that, so it's really fantastic. Um, and it can be done extracurricularly or more than likely is done like that. Sometimes it can be included within the um, curriculum of schools lower at the lower ends, which was what we trained in in January, wasn't it? Discover and Explore, mm -hmm. which were two levels that were brought out for sort of primary school ages. As before, it was only like 11 plus. So, um, so yeah, we've, we've, we kind of wanted to get involved with that quite a lot. Um, Clock Tower is now a registered um, Arts Award Centre. Um, one of the few in, in Wales, there aren't very many. Um, and um, yeah, we hope to be pushing, pushing on with that further. So the Arts Award is all about developing individuals um, and I know you've kind of looked at theatre and education yourselves as well. Have you been into any schools or...? Uh, yeah, we've had uh, <clears throat> one or two things. Um, mm. uh, just down the road from us uh, is Marlborough Primary School and they approached us in, was it April? March April time. Yeah. March April time, because um, they were they were doing a whole host of workshops for the um, centenary of the First World War, okay. so they uh, they they came to us and asked us if we'd do a workshop on uh, freedom. freedom, freedom and World War One if we could get them mm. together. First of all, we thought that sounds crazy. Don't know how we're going to do a workshop about World War One, and then we managed to pull something out of the bag and we ended up doing a creating a bespoke workshop for them based on the freedom of getting out of a prisoner of war camp yeah. um, and it was all very fun yes and I, then I went in the week afterwards and told the infants a nursery rhyme oh, oh fantastic that sounds lovely oh, nursery rhyme a fairy story oh, mm. would you like to tell us the, uh, the story now no okay he needs puppets Right. I do need puppets, but we don't have any puppets. Um, how about your after school clubs? What about that? Yeah, well, the arts after school club was really um, where we went with the arts award once we'd got our qualifications in being advisors. Um, we went to a primary school and started delivering the Explore level arts award um, as part of an after school club curriculum. So we had an after school club once a week and we went in for an hour and a half a week. 
and delivered the delivered the course over the period of sort of twenty odd weeks, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, it was really fun and and quite challenging at times because obviously it was very fragmented with you know going only going in an hour and a half a week Mm. but um but yeah the kids really seem to get something out of it and um yeah it was really really fun that sounds fantastic hopefully you'll be able to do more theatre education in the future Mm. um you said about challenging experiences i know your website was launched in march so that must have been quite a challenge in itself yes for two people that aren't particularly tech savvy especially in that sort of realm it did take a little while to get off the ground but we had some fantastic uh well we tried to do it ourselves to start off with and then realized how much of a challenge that was as you say and then yeah. fortunately um we were quite well acquainted with uh, a certain mr jonathan dunn at that point who uh s- stepped in and took over the reins and created the masterpiece that you see on uh www.clocktower tc.co.uk now and um, yeah we were really chuffed with it we we really needed to get it up and running because it was an important part of our branding you know to mm. get it out there because we had our social media and that was going really well but we really needed to have this extra presence for sort of professionalism and you know that was around the time that we got our t-shirts as you can see today um, oh. why aren't you wearing yes. your t-shirt? You didn't say you wanted us to... Well, we're doing an interview about Clock Tower being around for a year. Okay. Wear a t-shirt. <clears throat> no, no, I'll go get it on that. t-shirt. Hold Sorry. the fort. All right, fine. I know you haven't had a lot to do this interview, but I'm sure you'll do fine without me. Thanks. We'll, we'll carry on. Your website does look great, and I've seen you've got like a team section there, and I have seen Jonathan, as you mentioned then. Yes. Um, I've seen quite a few of your videos, and I've done a little bit of research, and... Um, I can't seem to see William on your uh, your website. Is there a reason for that, or is he still involved in Clock Tower? Or I wouldn't really count William as part of the team right. per se. Um, okay. He's more of just a fan. My ears are burning. Oh, William! Fantastic! Hi, welcome. Hello. Joining in the birthday celebrations here, it's me. William from Clock Tower. William, the Clock Tower pussy cat. We're here with Steve and Lindsay, uh, giving a special birthday interview for Clock Tower Theatre Company. Um, I bought a cake. Happy birthday! Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much, William. It's lovely of you to join us. You're welcome. Um, we've just been talking um, about the history of Clock Tower and over the past year, so yeah. maybe you could chat to us about you know, your experience of being involved with the company over the past year. I first came to Clock Tower Theatre Company 11 months ago, in the autumn of 2013. I was a stray kitten in those days, living off rainwater and leaves. I was walking down the street on one rainy evening, and I happened to cross an open window, and from it came the delicate aroma of boulevards. So I climbed in, being a graceful cat, and I saw a camera set up to record what I would later realise was a Clock Tower Theatre Company video diary. You'll be able to see this online if you click on the internet. And that's how I joined. Lovely. I didn't get any boulevards in the end. Oh. Well, hopefully we can share this lovely cake with you this afternoon. You did bring it in after all. Thank you for that. Um, I'm not sure how far you'd like to go with this interview, Steve, before Minty gets back. Um, Should we carry on with yourself I'm not sure how far I'd like to go with this interview with this cat here. Well, I I think he's part of the team, so it's nice to have William around. Like I said before, he's not part of the team. He just said himself he climbed in through the window to try and steal our boo base. Maybe we could just start the cake. Uh, would Minty like Minty? Minty? No, he wouldn't. He would want the cake to be in just right. us, not any cats. Okay, great. Um, You've never liked me. No, I haven't. Because you walked into our house and tried to steal our little okay, base. Okay, so. Um, Sorry, I'm just going to stop you there. Also, she's doing the interview, not you. You come in. Oh, hello, cat! I'm running this now. Just because you think you brought a cake, you think everything else is okay. What he failed to mention was when he came in through our window, 
gracefully and interrupted our shoot of one of our vlogs, he actually then decided to stay and drop his duty everywhere. There's no paper, there's no litter tray, we don't have cats. Our landlord wouldn't allow it. So, quite frankly, he's ridiculous and just a menace, if anything. Uh, I don't know what, how he keeps... We've moved! We've moved! And he's still rocking around. So I don't really know what's going on with it. Um, quite frankly, um, I'm going to ask you to leave. Can we, um, where's the makeup girl? Could we, could we get some powder? Don't put any makeup on him. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry that you had to see that. I'm sure Minty will be back soon. No, we, we should can, just wait for Yeah, Minty. we definitely, definitely should wait for Minty. Mm. Oh, Minty, boy. hi, welcome back. Gosh, sorry I took so long. I couldn't find this blasted t shirt. It looks Where great. did this cake come from? Oh. Delicious. Our, our friend brought it. Oh, who? William. Yeah. Our friend, William. Yes. That's why yeah. I will not. Um, we were just talking about the website, so I think we've covered that. Yes. Um, after the mm. website, you went straight into Orpheus. Um, oh, so yes. I think Minty, that was your project. Would you like it to talk was. us yes. through that? Orpheus was the culmination of a childhood's obsession with Greek uh, mythology. I had a great big book from the library, like a illustrated guide to illustrate guide, an illustrated uh, book all about the Greek myths. The one that stood out the most was Orpheus and Eurydice. Um, we all know the story because everybody came to see it. Uh, and if you didn't, shame. <laughs> but yes, um, <clears throat> it's the one that stood out most to me just because of the, uh, uh, the, sh the emotional intensity that came uh, with what happened at the end. It was really great exploring that with, uh, with, 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 the, uh, with the cast. There wasn't so much the, me as sort the of director. It was sort of a, here's everything that we've got. Let's make something out of it together. And that's the sort of uh, that's the sort of process that I really like. I had a really great time with that. Very proud of it, and very proud of everybody who was involved, even you. Great. Thanks. Yeah. Um, and then from Orpheus, I don't think there was much kind of breathing room for you before your next show, Death and the Monster. Yeah, I mean the the gap between the performances was uh, about six weeks, but the rehearsal process were they were overlapping. Um, which is why sort of Minty took charge of Orpheus and I took charge of Death and the Monster. Um, so Death and the Monster was is a ta uh, play written by Rick Alden, um, a local writer, a fantastic little uh, script. And um, it was originally performed for the Cardiff Comedy Festival four or five years ago. And I was put, uh, I was given the script to uh, put on again for the Cardiff Comedy Festival. And I read it and just thought, this is amazing, it's really funny. And um, just was really excited about putting it on. Really enjoyed it. Really funny script. Really funny play. Um, amazing cast. Again, we used a couple of people from um, La Ronde. We had um, Tom and John were in it again from La Ronde. Yeah, we've got a video recording of it as well. Okay. Um, which is up on our YouTube channel. And we'll hopefully be putting it up on our website soon as well. So if you missed it, you can see it. But shame on you, though, for missing it the first time around. Totally. Well, it certainly sounds as though you've both been very busy over the past year. So what does year two bring for Clock Tower? Well, I was hoping um, more time to nap. But unfortunately, we've got... Well, unfortunately for my sleeping pattern, uh, we've got a few more projects in the pipeline, haven't we? Yes, uh, I think you'll find uh, William leaked them. Uh, in a video last week, yeah. which we weren't happy about. He's we currently were at the Ecuadorian embassy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of wanted to tell people about them in this video, um, but you know. Um, so yes, what he said was true. Um, he obviously had been reading our whiteboard. Okay. Um, Could you perhaps tell us just to recap in case no one saw the video? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, well, we've got another show is going to be happening. Great. Yes. Um, we. 
we've got a few ideas of what we want to put on and I'm thinking up ways of how to how to how to put it on mm-hmm. so uh, yeah but once we once we land on a once we land on a play we'll be uh, we'll be pushing forward with that yep. uh, a couple of other things that I'm very excited about um, as we all know October is uh, a very very spooky month um, because um, Because, uh, well, because Halloween. it's Halloween, yes. There go, yeah. So Halloween. the whole, obviously the whole of October leading up to that night is um, basically preparation for that, uh, for, for for the mayhem that ensues. You know, mm. people are getting their, their chalk pentagrams on the ground ready, people are buying salt in bulk to protect from ghosts, summoning spirits themselves, making deals with them, um, with all manner of demons and other hellish abominations. Um, so we thought, why don't we why don't we tap into that market and um, uh, bring our own brand of um, the macabre to um, to people's lives? So October is going to be a very spooky month for Clock Tower because right. we're going to be doing spooky stories. And then our other project as well, which we're quite excited about, is the. Um is the clock cast as it's been dubbed so, so that's... how about what will that entail well um we already do videos Great. so we thought mm, why don't we uh, why don't we offer something a little bit more um substantial to the artistic community something that has a little bit of uh, i suppose creative integrity mm. um yeah so what we want to do is start a sort of uh, script reading podcast so it will be we'll get groups of actors together maybe a local uh, script from a local writer or yeah. one of us or a script that an actor's written or anybody and then we will record ourselves uh, performing it and then we will set up a, a tab on our website and we'll have the, the podcast available for people to, to listen to. Great. Um, and hopefully this will be a really good way of forming really solidifying the sort of theatre community that's in Cardiff that's already quite strong Mm. um, and getting actors and writers to come together and giving people a platform to put their work out there. Well thank you ever so much for your time today boys. It's lovely to see you both and a massive happy birthday. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Was that the cat flap? Don't say it was. I don't know. Checky's not coming back in again. Hang on a sec. Okay. I'll just wait a second then. Yeah, Is sorry. Okay? I I just really don't want that cat to come back in again. Oh, it's fine. I'm, yeah, I'm sure I, he's gone. Yeah, I, I know we could just wrap it up, but I, I just want to Hello. Oh. Hello. It's me, William, the clock tower pussy cat. Hi. Hello. I checked the cat oh. up. He's not out. Hello. It's not what it looks like. I've told you a hundred times to get out. Did you not get our letter? We don't like you. We don't like you. (laughs) I'm I'm really not sure there's a need for that. Bula Bay's duty dropping. You you can change the picture on our (laughs) website. You can't even get onto it now, you (laughs) (laughs) Get the out. You... Get up, you Oh, you Um. Oh. Sorry, um, sorry, flew off. We can edit that, right? <clears throat> um, okay, well, um, maybe we could, yeah, yeah. great. Um, <clears throat> happy birthday! Oh, thank you Yay. very much. Yeah. <laughs> great. <laughs> Happy birthday to us, happy birthday to us, happy birthday dear Clock Tower Theatre Company, happy birthday to us. Make a wish. (sighs) Hmm. Cat had a tail 
a very long tail, nine meters long. It was trod on by a crocodile. The cat ate the crocodile. The cat had a tail, a very long tail, ten meters long.